The sky has an awfully nice baby blue appearance over our Allo Communications camera. No clouds to speak of right now, and we may see a few clouds develop in the heat of the day as we will have plenty of humidity, so I think we will see some fair weather cumulus clouds, but for much of the day, plenty of sunlight getting through. Radar is quiet in eastern Nebraska. We do have a couple of spotty showers in western parts of the state, and these may move into north central, maybe even northeast Nebraska as the morning wears on, maybe even into the afternoon, but this will be very spotty activity and uh, nothing all that significant where we start to see more significant activities by late afternoon and early evening. So a couple of boundaries to watch. See this uh, dashed line right here? That's what we call a surface trough. We'll have to watch that as we progress stormcast into the future. And this is a stationary front. Both of these boundaries will be triggers for thunderstorm activity. We could see some thunderstorms form along this surface trough by late afternoon and early evening, also along this stationary front. It all happens to the west initially, and uh, whatever does form will quickly flare up and intensify and become strong to severe and eventually push southeast and uh, this arrives closer to Lincoln. I'd say in the ballpark of midnight 1 or even 2 a.m. So this is not going to be a daytime issue for Lincoln. This will be a late night occurrence uh, for areas maybe out towards Columbus, Grand Island, Greeley or Ord, maybe a little earlier in the night, uh, but late tonight thunderstorms do look uh, likely in some parts of the state and they could move into southeast Nebraska, maybe even a few lingering storms into early tomorrow morning. But let's talk about the severe weather potential uh, again. It all starts in northwest Nebraska and spreads into southeast Nebraska eventually. Level 2 out of 5 risk for severe weather does include Lincoln, Omaha, Grand Allen, O'Neill, out towards Valentine. What are we talking about as far as hazards go? Damaging straight line winds and large hail are the main concerns for Lincoln. I can't completely rule out a tornado or two, but I think most of those will be in northern sections of the state once these storms initially form. It's just not a favorable time of night uh, for tornadoes in southeast Nebraska by the time they get here. And I also can't rule out some uh, localized flooding as there could be some locally heavy rainfall with these. But wind and hail, that's probably going to be the biggest issue with the storms as they roll into southeast Nebraska tonight. But again, a higher tornado threat this afternoon and this evening to the north. 69 in Lincoln. At this time, 67 in Omaha, 66 in Nebraska City, 64 in York, 62 in Aurora, and 67 in Grand Island. Before we get to all the storminess, it's just going to be hot with a lot of sunshine. 90 degrees by 3 o'clock, 92 by 5. But factor in the humidity and we will have heat indices or uh, feels like temperature in the upper 90s, maybe even a few degrees past 100 degrees. So make sure to stay plenty hydrated today. It will feel like a summer day for sure. Actual air temperatures will likely top out near 92 degrees and Lincoln may be topping out near 95 in Hebron. We do keep a couple of small storm chances into Wednesday as well. 86 degrees the high there. Highs are a little tricky on Wednesday, uh, but uh, kind of splitting the difference here and saying middle 80s. I have seen some models warmer, some cooler, but 86 degrees is what we're going with for now. 90 on Thursday, a few more small chances uh, for storms will stick around through Friday and into the weekend. Uh, overall, a very summer-like forecast with plenty of opportunities to see some moisture falling from the sky.